hugely flexible and versatile jack of all trades but in there primarily for their defensive qualities here's the french team jean patry first out he's also two meters seven tall kevin tilly we've already seen a, a, gl a glance of him Brizard, the captain. 14 is uh, Nicolas Le Goff, the middle blocker. Again, 206 high. Batanami Chignez is the next player out. And the Russian born Frenchman, Yenia Grebenikov, the uh, Lidibero. His father, Boris, was a a former player for the Soviet Union. That's how Russia will line up with the Golubev, the Libero, and a new coach, Samolvuo Thomas. Thomas Samolvuo, who is uh, Finnish, and uh, so he's still getting to know his players, but he has the utmost of confidence in them. There's the French lineup with uh, Attili on the court and one watching on, Laurent Attili, the Frenchman, has uh, been in charge since 2017 and did really, really well last year to guide his troops to the final. So, it's a new year, it's a new match. 2018 is history. But Russia know they have all the bragging rights, of course, from last year. It's a repeat of last year's final. And this is the first of the pool matches for these two teams. We've already seen Japan pull off a shock victory against Serbia in the opening match. How will this one unfold? We shall find out over the next few hours. Kiev for Russia, it'll be to get us underway. Best of five sets, of course. The first to 25 points in each set. Away we go. Sighter for the French team. As Le Goff getting in on the act. Nicely controlled initially by uh, Grebenikov. We're going to be seeing a lot of him. Patanemi Chenanyez, just 21 years old as well. Here is Le Goff. Nice. Again, the exchange of points. That's uh, Kliuka, the wing spiker. Up at 209. So early points for the tall men. Out on the full. And again, just worth repeating for those people watching who are not necessarily week in, week out volleyball viewers that the serve is, is a hugely important shot. And the reason we see lots of serves going long or into the net is because you really have got to go for it. There's no point in making a passive serve because the advantage is almost always with the defensive, the receiving side. So you sacrifice perhaps a bit of accuracy for pace. And the key, of course, is getting the combination of speed and control. Two apiece here in the opening set. That's a good example, good case in point. Kliuka. Just taking the pace off the ball there, in the serve. Grabenikov, once again, strong hands. Too much on it, had to play the shot, did uh, Patry, the Frenchman. Just both sides feeling their way into this opening set. That was a terrific angle, wasn't it, there, from uh, Politeev. Super block, really, but very, very smartly. Korkeev, the middle blocker, using all his height. Straight onto it, snuffed it out. It an excellent stuff block. Oh, 
Krovenikov. Oh, lovely. Nicely guided down. From the Captain Brizard, marshalling his troops really well. So even Stevens so far, not surprisingly. Again, going for placement, Chenignez, and not coming off. One of the younger players in this French team. Just 21 years old. Politeev. Again, spotted the gap, didn't he? It was a terrific head-on shot there, just to see the court placement of the receiving team. And you can see his intention there, but again, failed to clear the net. So a little bit cat and mouse here. Nicely done. Something of a surprise going behind with the set. Politeev. Got what's net? In the moment when you jump, okay, what's net? Totally clear. <laughs> Wicked vicious serve there. Excellent hands. Kovenikov just guiding the ball over to his opposite number, the Libero. Excellent blocking as well. France on a bit of a roll here. There's nothing that energises a team more than a, a successful block. Le Goff involved on that occasion. More than involved. Did it single-handedly, didn't he? Towers up at the net. Once again, the serve, so, so crucial. We saw a handful of aces in the opening match. There is uh, Thomas Samelvaux, former coach of the Finnish national team. Now with Russia. Well, France reached the eight-point mark first, so it triggers the first technical timeout of this opening set. It's pretty much nip and tuck, as we would have expected prior to the match. These two have had so many tight tussles over the years. So let's just listen in and see if we can read anything into the body language of the Russian players. Samuel Vu also uh, coaches in club volleyball, coach of the Russian National League champions as well. So good pedigree and is known to many of the Russian national team players. So early stages of this second match here in Novi Sad. We've already seen Japan upset the hosts Serbia 3-1. But this, with due respect to both those nations, this the standout match not just here in Novi Sad, but across this entire weekend, last year's finalists. And it's the silver medalists, France, with a narrow lead here. Desperate stuff, but really clinical from uh, Korkeyev. It was a gallant effort there by uh, Trevor Cleverno. Total commitment. Plenty of lost causes being chased. Oh, from son to father. You can tell they look they're from the same family. Yes, I the the block. the block. After that, after that. Oh, what's Got a challenge coming in here. 
seem to be any doubt that the you, ball you, didn't you touch the floor me, on that you occasion. But the, the image when the piece touched the floor. Okay. This actor. Yeah, again. Yeah. Okay, one more time. Okay, guys, okay. It's well, my mistake. Okay? It's my mistake. Well, referee makes mistake. a mistake and owns up to it, which is uh, which is good to see in here. You replay. You replay. So, the point is replayed. Blue for a touch that actually didn't take place. Replay the point. So France with the serve, leading here by just two points in this opening set. It's been pretty tight, gone to script so far. Feel the slap of the hand, the open face on that serve. Good block from France, and they get away with it. Really nice. The Russian team just stood and stared as the ball plopped onto the court surface. And Antoine Brizard marshalling his troops well here, the French captain. Great positioning. Nice dig. Oh, it's terrific from Grebenikov. Lights out staff, but still Russia come away with a point. But that's the commitment that this sport requires at this level. It really is top quality, worth seeing that again. Grabenikov, how on earth did he retrieve that? Keeps the ball alive, but the block came in and even Blizzard couldn't get it out. But he likes the commitment, that's the most important thing. Benikov. It's Tilly this time comes away with the winning point. So France just keeping Russia at bay by the odd two or three points. A dummy coming in there from Le Goff. That's a smashing spike there. Kliuka. Just warming up at 108 clicks. It's nicely done by uh, Tilly. Patry, still work to do. It's nice. Grabenikov is again, keeps the ball alive. It's what he does so, so well. And now Russia build again, once again. Desperate stuff. And France, as so often you see, a mega rally coming away with the point there to take a three-point advantage again. It all started with Tilly's defence. And how many times do we see desperate defending producing the winning point in the end? Grabenikov getting height on that, allowing his players some time. Russia playing catch up here. Tilly just oh no, that's out of court. It's gone to France. Tilly in control at that point, but opting for placement rather than yeah, that was just a shot, just a push shot over. And pleased to see that ball just Veer out of court, came off the shoulder, in fact, of the Russian player. Mm -hmm. 
There's the set return. The block is well out of court. That again was impressive from the Russian team. Placements waiting to come on at any time. Gravenikov dribbles along the top of the net, still in play. That's nicely done by Patry, back on his feet. And the youngster, Shananiez, puts away the winning spike. And France again, just able to respond when that gap gets down to two points and just give themselves a bit of an insurance policy with a third. That was good defence again, wasn't it, from Patry? Very swift, really quick arm on that occasion. Korkaev, he's got into his groove really well. A third point of the set for him, Korkaev. Vicious left-handed serve. Nicely dug out. There's the... Preparation the set, and it's again a, a desperate dive from Kevin Tilly to no avail. And now the gap is narrowed to just a single point in France's favour. The agility of these players, the reaction, so impressive. Proteev, it's gone long. Captain to serve, Antoine Brizard. He was a, an integral part of the success of the French team last year. Good blocking, nice reactions from Le Goff. Well blocked again. And the point goes the way of France. So that three point gap opening up again. at the ready formation so well drilled oh, look off again on fire all oh, two meters six of him he's such a daunting presence at the net monster block again straight down hands pointing down so that the ball has got no height for the attacking team to play with Second technical timeout then of this first set with France leading by four points over the VNL champions Russia. France build on this useful lead here with uh, captain Antoine Brizard. Good deep serve, well dealt with by the Russians. And again, the, the left arm of Poletev doing the trick. He's really settled well in this opening set. Settled very quickly indeed. Podlejnik. Great control on that diving dig. And it's uh, the Goff and Patrick combining well there. Le Goff with the, the winning spike. 
Clavado. Stinging serve and perfect view from which to enjoy that serve. Preparation, the concentration, and then the absolute inch perfect delivery. Russia calling a timeout with five points to the deficit here. Reminder that Russia, are the champions from 2018, the team they beat in that final in Lille, are France who are leading here in this first set. Coach Samalvo trying to rally the troops. This match, unlike the first one, really too close to call. Serbia, clear favourites on paper. Of course, the reality itself was. Uh, Exactly the opposite. France leading then here and serving with Cleveno. That's a good contrast. Took the pace off the ball, dipping viciously. And it's gone out on the full. No touch. Cleveno is putting together a nice little run of serves here was excellent placement not as quick as the first serve that just clipped the net and went out on the full with no touch back to the full brute force from Cleveno yeah. wonderful response from uh, Kliuka players rotating of course to make sure they rotate completely and are in the right positions to receive. Otherwise, they could be docked a point. Tilly. Oh, was there a touch? No, there wasn't. Patry putting too much on it. It's a good move from France. Unlucky. He's an imposing figure. Jean Patry from uh, Montpellier. Again, that was an attempt to be cute there, going spotting that vacant space down the line, but missing crucially. And France reached the magic 20 point mark and have a real chance here to wrap up this first set. Le Goff. Tilly. Oh, and France get away with the point. Excellent placement, but well dealt with by the Libero, who touches the net, and France are on a roll here. They're starting to run away with this first set. Seven points, the deficit, and no surprise, another timeout call by the Russian coach. Samalvo. Some running repairs to do here. And we talk about momentum in elite sport, and this is... A case in point, really. France just starting to tighten their grip on this first set here. Three points became four, became five. Concentration key. Again, the low trajectory from Goff. Well dealt with again in defence that time by the same player. Russia try and go again. And they come away with the point. They needed that one. Badly needed at this stage of the set. And good work there by Kliuka.
top spin on the ball to make it dip over the net. Patry can't put away the winning spike. Oh, it's desperate stuff there by Le Goff. And Russia just starting to close the gap here on France. To then first set in their second match here in Novi Sad. Out on the full, they'll take that all day. Well, France, one more to the tally and two points from wrapping up this first set. In it. it was worth a go, but Patry goes long with the serve. France still have a little bit of work to do here to get over the line in this first set. Igor Kliuka with the serve. Levenikov digs it out. The set, Patry comes in, but a terrific block. Russia are not done yet in this first set. That was terrific blocking there. On that occasion by uh, Yakovlev, the middle blocker. Monster block, indeed it was. So, Russia on the comeback trail here. Good from Tilly, follows up again with a smash. And that was terrific work. Excellent first touch from Tilly, and then finished it off with the cross-court spike. And it brings up set point. Just inside half an hour, and it is Kevin Tilly to try and serve it out here. Placement, his preferred option. And it's gone long, it has gone long, and France have the advantage here in Novi Sad. Something towards revenge, subject for a challenge. Subject to a challenge, France have taken this first set, but they'll have to wait just a moment or so. They thought it went out on the full. Russia are claiming there was a touch. And we wait. Free Sanchez just waiting for the replay. Pretty clear to see there was no touch there. The point does indeed go the way of the French team. And France are up and running here in this, for them, opening pool match in Pool 4 in Novi Sad. They've taken this first set against the defending champions, Russia, by 25 points to 19. So advantage France, and here are the numbers. Actually being out-attacked out by Russia in that first set, but uh, the opponent errors count heavily in France's favour, but the important points they won. A couple of aces there as well. Did their cause no harm at all. So Russia are going to have to come from behind. set of contact points this is for France the vast vast majority of the setting done in that uh, right hand quadrant that contrasts to only 46% from Russia much more even distribution from the Russian team in terms of where the setting came of course and that dictates where the spike is ultimately made from so, 
good atmosphere in this very, very volleyball of cities, Nobby Sad. Lovely venue. Boy Vodina, 7,000 capacity. Of course, it helps when you've got the host nation involved in the weekend's proceedings, as we have. They uh, made a losing start to their weekend earlier, going down 3 1 to Japan. This one, too close to call, really. But a real treat for these volleyball fans. A repeat of last year's VNL final. Russia are ranked fourth equal in the world at the moment. France down at nine, so Russia the higher ranked of these two teams. And then do enjoy the, the better head to head record. Winning 15 of their 24 meetings. But you can talk statistics all you like. It's what matters out on the field of play on the courts. And it's France in the blue. They're leading the way here, looking to build on their first set advantage. There is uh, Antoine Brizard, the French captain. And it'll be Brizard to get us underway in set two. Yeah. And after all the drama, it's a disappointing first serve for Antoine Brizard. Russia have the serve. Kovlev. Nice athleticism again from Kobennikov. And again, a cool head. Good defense again. Bodies all over the place. This is dramatic. This is shaping up to be quite a rally, and it's away. And Le Goff does the damage there. And France needed that. <laughs> Tilly in the thick of it. There is Clevenot, the wing spiker. Can France build on that first set lead? Oh, that's smartly done. The left-hander coming in from the right-hand side, cross-court, Poratev. It's a super set from the middle of the court. Look at that gaping chasm. So much court for him to aim at. Nothing that the French back row could do about that. Gives the net a, a real thwack, but the ball over the net. And the block, has it done its job? No, it's just away. It's just out of court. Some relief there for the French players, I'm sure. That block, let's watch it. Yeah, it's just away. Ball needs to only touch a fraction of the line, remember, for it to be counted as in. All square, then. Early stages of their second set. Nicola Le Goff. Oh, that's terrific blocking. Really good from Kokeyev. Such a quick arm. Shinanyez, the youngster, really starting to warm up nicely. Golubev as well, seen plenty of the ball, as is his opposite number, Grebenikov. It's too strong again. Excellent positioning, really nicely set up there, this time for Igor Kliuka. His uh, 
sixth point of the match. Dummy coming in and again finding the gaps. And often those decisions are made right at the last second, the angle of the hand. Tilly goes for the return. That's nice, but it's well met. Ball kept alive. And that's the way to do it. And Russia now starting to build ahead of steam. Kliuka again. Finding his mark. He's uh, looking a little bit happier, isn't he? Thomas Samalvo. Good response this from the defending champions. Korkeyev. It's a joust in the net, and it's come the way of the French. Tilly wins that particular battle. Important point for France to win there. And it was all hands all over the place, and the last hand it came off was the Russian player. And there's the dig. Nice set, short spike, well dealt with by the French team. There's Brizard, block again, brilliant backward pedalling from Grabelnikov. Brilliant stuff, but still Russia come out on top. Well, we're seeing Yenya Grabelnikov at his wonderfully athletic best. It's the monster block. Look at that, back pedalling. Still keeps the ball alive, but that's the block. That gets the point for Russia. And they move ahead by two points in this second set. Kovalov. <laughs> Shininez, the youngster. Kovalev, oh, that's a super block, Le Goff getting all of his body and considerable hands behind that ball. France once again, just cover the move, any sign or sense that Russia were starting to pull away. Snuffed out. Goes for subtlety. Excellent block, Brizard, the captain, coming up. With the goods. Is that clever? No. I beg your pardon. It is clever. No. Great direction as well. So France now move ahead. Chenignes once again with the, the serve. Good reactions from Brizard. Keeps the ball alive. Tilly, yes, finds a mark. Super stuff from France. And they reach the technical timeout with a two point advantage and a little. Hop and a skip there from Kevin Tilly suggests to me that he's really up for this one. He did not enjoy being beaten in Lille last summer by today's opponents. It was a chastening defeat. But France leading here by a set and two points in the second set. Attack, Attack, Let's just have a look at the uh, contribution of uh, Nicolas Le Goff, a considerable contribution of the, uh, the man from Paris, plays his volleyball in Berlin, but, uh, in the thick of it there with another block. His uh, attacking skills considerable as well. At the front of that three man formation. Well, that was a, could have been a costly mistake which has been uh, rectified. And that's down the line from Patry. That's a, a soft miss there. It was, that rally started horribly for Russia. That was a complete. Miss it. Terrific reactions there from uh, Golubev, the libero. And in the end, Russia came away with the point. He had no business to. Excellent.
excellent defence from Tilly. And France once again through Brizard come away with the point. That's once again, it's, it seems to be intuitive. Just as Russia start to get back into the match, France pull away again. And Tilly just trying to get the message through there. Keep it going, keep positive. We heard from the Russian coach, attack, attack, attack. They're not being allowed to at the moment. That's oh, again another wonderful dipping serve. Excellent, Grabelnikov with the pancake. Oh, and it's made it. It's found the line from Tilly. Challenge coming in from Russia. Block touch. Let's have a look at this again. Referee Sanchez waiting for the replay. It's a key point this because it could give France a three point advantage. Well, there was no touch. So the advantage is just a point. And Russia right back in this. That was a key call. Good challenge. That's well left by Gravelnikov. He really is the heartbeat of this French team. Such brilliant skills. His athletic ability. Second rate, second to none. Plenty of time to address the ball there for the Russians. And has that gone away? It has. It's out of court. And Russia, draw level. Just one point behind, threatening to restore parity. And again, Grabenikov taking off his feet quite literally. And the Russians now enjoying a little bit of a purple patch. That was terrific blocking there from Podlesnik. And Russia have drawn level. Not for long. This game can change in the blink of an eye. And the golf, who we were just featuring a few moments ago, has a chance to put some clear blue water between his French team and the Russian opponents. Trusty arm, the left arm. For Polidayev, finally gets marked once again, instantly recognizable. It's a nice set as well, he knows exactly where he is. Does the setter. French side again terrific top spin to bring that ball down on the serve and follows it up finds its mark the French team on the sidelines the replacements all heavily involved and now he's starting to warm up cranking up the speed Desperate stuff at the net from the Russians. The net playing a huge part there. But now France have opened up a little bit of daylight here. So lucky there for Kovalev. So Russia with the gap, three points. In need of some more messaging. Take a timeout.
Motore, että se on. Break point on se luutse. Se on parni, davai. Dai, 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 dai. Question is, does this Russian team back itself to come back into this match? We'll know all about how formidable the French are. Many of the players playing here on this court in Novi Sad were also in the final in Lille coming up a year ago. Russia won emphatically on that occasion. France looking to that defeat 14 11 then a chance here for Jean Patry to extend that lead again terrific from Golibev nice from the French team oh that's good pancake from Golibev again Flat on the floor, excellent defending again, but eventually they ran out of room. And France now starting to turn the screw. That was wonderful effort there. And another one here as well. <laughs> Two of them. Challenge coming in from Russia. Referee just saying that they've got to make the challenge more quickly. They can't wait. And then decide to challenge. No challenge in the end. Mario Sanchez being quite firm with the Russian team. Chance here for Tilly to set and then hit the return. And France now are free wheeling in their second set. They reach the second technical timeout with a healthy five-point advantage here, leading by a set, and now by 16 points to 11. And a real test here for the Russians. Just paying tribute okay. to the Russian blockers saying that uh, they are very, very strong indeed. You've just got to make sure that you cover the outside, he's telling one of the players. But until he, generally speaking, pretty calm and composed, as he well might be with the scoreline as it is. Can France kick on from here? So Jean Patry enjoying a run of serves here. Again, copied off. Tilly backpedaling, really nice defence there. Russia need this point, and they've got it. The touch. Just taking the ball out, and that was a, a really important point for Kliuka to convert. Super defence there again. The ball landed actually just inside the line. So Russia pull it back to four. Korkayev. Yes, Tilly. Patry goes for the big one, but the blockers are there. Kluka again. The last couple of points have been very big, very important for Russia. Just to hang on the coattails of France, who are starting, starting to threaten to move away Tilly doing a lot of receiving 
Ah, oh, that's nice. That's really, really cute. Mombri's out. So the son's the captain's son, the manager's son, Kevin Tilly. comes back looking for that diagonal and the touch takes it long and once again it's a really interesting end on shot to bring you the tactical movement in this case of the Russian team working it along the line and eventually to the right of the court with the right hander going cross court for the winner dispatched by uh, Kovalev Too good. Real venom in that from Clevenot. France just keeping the pressure on their opponents here. They know that a two set to zero lead would be not insurmountable, but it would be really a long way back for the Russians. Thibaut Rossard is on as a replacement. Difficult to come straight into the fray and pick up the serve. Kliuka, top scorer for Russia so far in this match with 10 points, eight spikes. Good communication and calling there from the French team. Excellent organisation again. That's, ooh, that's difficult. And that's pretty poor actually from Patry. Really nothing on it at all. Took all the sting out of the ball and rather left his teammates flat-footed. Desperately trying to get to the ball. Brizar in particular. That's a soft point to give away. Valiant effort there from Kevin Tilly, but let's have a look at this again. Russia then just a point behind now. Oh, that's nicely done. Cleverno having some real success there on that left hand side for France. Spotting that opportunity, just palming the ball down. Prizar, the captain, into the libero. That's nicely dispatched there. Once again, Politeyev. Too close to call this second set. Could come down to the odd point or two. Tilly the target man each time. And the blockers doing their job beautifully there. Volkov in there. And a timeout call by Lauren Tilly just to stop this momentum because we're all square now in this second set. Determine the outcome of the match in terms of momentum. Keep cutting off the angles. Be patient. Bide your time. Very calm, very measured, very controlled, keeping it very simple. Taking all the emotion out of it. Different coaches, of course, have different approaches. Last year at the VNL, we saw some really animated, often angry coaches. So 
Russia with the serve at 19 all, second set. Filipov. That's oh, terrific. France needed that. Jean Patry atoning for that slip up a couple of points ago. And France reached the magic 20. Can they kick on from here? It's tight. We knew it would be. Kolibev, the libero, marshalling the troops, getting them into the right frame of mind. France can see the finishing line of this second set. Just needs to inch their way forward. Le Goff, the big man from Paris. Ah, oh, super block. Really nicely done. Tilly at the heart of that with Shin Yanez. A joint combination. They enjoyed that. They're enjoying their volleyball here today. And how they would love to go two sets to nil up. Goes to the return. And it's France who come away with the point. The net playing a part there. We'll hit the antenna, in fact, yeah, just hitting the antenna. Russia take a timeout, two points away from conceding this second set. They need to do something different here, they need to stop this momentum of the French team. Nicolas Legoff then. To carve out a set point here for France. Oh, he's got it. Brilliant. Patry. Super monster block there from Jean Patry. Let's have a look at this again. Look at the height, the anticipation, and the angle away. And it brings up set point to France for a two sets to zero lead. Well, one of them has saved there. Now then, big serve this for Volkov. Concentration absolutely key. It's still set point. What is he going to go for? Subtlety, placement, or raw power? Well, he's gone for power. Tilly just giving a suggestion that he thought that may have been out, but comfortably inside, just didn't get his hands into position correctly. So another set point is saved. Two more on the line here. So Volkov. Well, it's gone wide. And France have sealed this second set. It was a foot fault in the end. Well, Footfault suggested, not sure if that was been confirmed, but regardless of the reason, the point went to France and they have doubled their lead here. And they've taken this second set in the end comfortably by 25 points to 22. And it's an advantage France in this rematch from last year's final.
So the reigning VNL champions, Russia, need to find something special here to come back. Well, the numbers impressive from France's point of view. Good even distribution of points scored between the likes of Le Goff and Tilly and Patry. Cleveno has chipped in as well with six points. Kliuka is the, the pick of the Russian players in terms of points scored. Goff has also made four really important blocks. Well, Russia's spike hit points look as follows and again they're favoring down the line particularly on that right hand side with the left hand right hand combination and then on the left side in the green you can see that they're going cross court well, here are the numbers from that second set france just out witting russia in the Attacks department, pretty even block-wise. Made a few more errors, but uh, once again, crucially, they came through when it mattered. And they're two-thirds of the way there to redeeming themselves after that surprise defeat in the final last year, which they lost 3 nothing, And one more set here would atone for that in the perfect way. The very next meeting between these two, and they could got a chance here of reversing the scoreline completely. So advantage France. What will Russia do? How will they change things? How will they mix things up? Can't underestimate the contribution of this young man, Grabenikov. Like a jack-in-the-box. Russia then looking to mount a comeback here, trailing by two sets to zero. Yeah! And from a France perspective, the perfect, perfect start. Always nice to get a point on the board against serve. And France's top scorer here, Le Goff. Good reactions from Volkov there. Nice. Rizar. Tilly comes away with the spoils. France are looking very positive indeed. The body language is good. The interaction between the players, you can tell what it means to them. They are fired up here. There's no doubt about that. 2019, wipe the slate clean. It's a new year. Good reactions from Tilly. There is a Prisa. Tilly again. Good block. And eventually the ball goes down and Russia are on the board here in set three. Kovalev with the serve. That's wonderful again from Patry. He's really having great joy down that right-hand side. Tilly is mopping up a lot of the pressure. There's the set and such a strong arm from Patry. That's beautifully done. Simple, but effective. From uh, Filipov. That's been a very disciplined performance from the French team. 
marshalled well by Laurent Tilly from the touchline and Antoine Brizard on the court. And again, it's the domination from the serve that's doing the doing the job here. Tilly, that was a rare mistake there from uh, Golibev. Yeah, Libero putting his teammates under real pressure. And in the blink of an eye, France already three points to the good here. That's better from Golibev. Good block, good reactions from Volkov. Nice, Grebenikov. Patry. The joust, not conclusive, and on we go. Nice competitive rally here. Up go the blockers, and it's away. Block touch. Kovalev playing his part. Important point for Russia there. But a nice competitive rally there. Joust and it comes the way of France. Both hands on the ball from both sides of the net with the ball like a sandwich in the middle. And France coming away with it. Three points the difference again. Cheninier's the youngster. spiraling down and hitting the foot of the post out of court let's look at this again yep came off the fingertips of uh, Brisa joining us and coming in for the first time in this match will think that France are cruising here and they kind of are I mean each of these sets has been pretty competitive but they've just done enough and always had their necks in front the odd two or three point advantage which they've been able to maintain Russia did go ahead in the second set but France reeled them in Great bird's eye view from our roof camp. And once again, the three blockers going up, but the ball ricocheting and out of court. It's a really good spike there from uh, Kliuka. Ball well dealt with there from uh, Cleveno and finished off with a plan by Patry, who's having a real, a really good match. Technical timeout with 8-6 to France in this third set. So Russia behind on the scoreline, but uh, leading the way in terms of points accumulated. Kliuka, the standout player of the match so far, with 11 points to his name. Eight of them spikes, and many of them as good as that. Cross-court right-hander from the left-hand side. He's had some real success down there. So France with Cleveno with that very deliberate serve preparation. That's really well dealt with. 
Grubenikov. Good defence this from Russia. Grubenikov again at full stretch. Tilly. Was there a touch? Well, referee waiting there, like everybody else. But uh, no touch. And out on the full from Kevin Tilly. Korkeev. Patry is really starting to turn the screw there. He really is enjoying himself on that right-hand side. Reverse set. Bet against the, the right arm of Jean Patry and the height that he can get. What's made this uh, contest so absorbing that Russia allow France to get a couple of points advantage, but no more than that, or well, very rarely. And here they are, with just one point the deficit. Oh, Tilly, slight misunderstanding there, I think, between the two players. Kovalev draws Russia level. Now then, Russia. Can they take the lead here in the third set for the first time? It's nicely done, Chininez. Tall player. Golubev. There's the left hand there. Was the mark there? Yes, it was. The block came in. And uh, Filipov has uh, made quite a difference actually since he came on. And it's all square approaching the midway point through this third set. Good strong hands. Out on the full from Patry on this occasion. And Russia do move ahead for the first time in this third set. And now for the first time, some Clear daylight. Time out for France, Laurent. Tilly is just concerned enough to want to call his troops in. This could be a pivotal port part okay, of this third set. Comment on allant chercher les lignes. Dès que la balle elle s'écarte du filet, ils jouent très vite, ils jouent aux ailes. Donc on écarte pour être bien, couper les angles. On anticipe les passes aux ailes. Son mauvaise réception en face. D'accord Et nous, on va pas chercher la hauteur, on va chercher les angles. On va chercher en face. Rock, paper, scissors. A little amusement for the uh, French substitutes, keeping themselves mentally active. And a tune that could be called on at any time, of course. And France have to be careful here. So they've allowed Russia to creep back into this third set. They know what a, a dangerous side they are. And here they are serving with a two-point advantage. That's nicely done. Clever note coming in, cutting the deficit. Kevin Tilly then, not the captain, but 
so often plays a captain's role. He's the important linchpins of this French side. So experienced. Uh, even for Grebenikov, that was too hot to handle. That was travelling right down the throat of the Russian-born Frenchman. Let's take a look at this again. Good reactions to get his hands up in front of his face. Whoa. Some relief to see that ball drift over the line. So back to just a point. France need to stay strong and stay firm here. Oh, that's really cute. And the Kokeyev once again causing all sorts of problems in the French front line there. There's Le Goff who didn't time his jump, he anticipated perhaps a little bit too early. And Russia have the two-point advantage once again. Uh, it's easy again. Kukayev is on a roll here. Now it's three points, and now Russia have some control over this third set. Protev. That's nice, Patrick needed that, having missed the previous one. He moves to 12, and the reinforcements are lining up here. Oh, stinging hands from Grabenikov, but he does well. France felt there was a touch there, but... Technical timeout, challenge coming in from France. Pending this challenge, Russia have reached the te second technical timeout with a three point advantage. No, we don't. There's no blow that. No, that. Mario Sanchez just no, waiting for confirmation. No, no. Here we go. No touch. Signaled by Free Sanchez, so. Institutions for France. Number 16 limbering up there, Daryl Bulto. I haven't seen him. <laughs> One of the key players has been Jean Patry, the French number four, the opposite spiker. Here he is in action. That's one of the ten spikes that he's drilled down today. be on the winning side at the end of the match, we wonder. Well, they've taken the time to work their way into this match, Russia. Slowly but surely, they've been taking control of this third set.
Volkov then on the resumption. That's gone wide. And he holds his hands up as uh, clever on that occasion. Came off the outside of the hand and therefore went wide. It was already a risky, quite ambitious decision to go down the line. All sorts of plots and signals and coded messages being passed over. It's good to have a clipboard with you. We can hide it from the opposition. Oh, that's a great get from Tilly. He's back on his feet straight away. And it's out. It's away. And France are hanging on here. There's one of the replacements, uh, Thibaut Rossard, the wing spike who's on. That was terrific. Last ditch effort from uh, Kevin Tilly. Left hander, Rossard. And here he is. Has it found its mark? No, it hasn't. It's gone long. So, Russia then. Starting to see the third set finish line loom into view. Kurkayev. Five points to his name, but he's made a terrific contribution to the match overall. It was a good leave there from Tilly. Now then, will we see an increase in intensity at this point on? This is, these are the important stages, the important points, the late teens. Once the side reaches 20, psychologically they feel they're there. And it's another miss, and they believe they can get this job done here in three sets. Two points, the deficit now. long well long and France a timing a little comeback here to perfection oh, block touch challenge from Russia coming in an important one as well because with France closing to within a point and serving this is okay there's no touch cover no no touch it is, it is better. Mario Sanchez no, no agrees, no touch. The point does go the way of France. And they close to within a single point. Russia call a timeout. A little bit too close for comfort for their liking. Thomas Samelvo has more to say. Well, the next five or ten minutes could decide the outcome of this match. Either France will continue to claw back and seal this third set and with it a match, or Russia will prolong the entertainment for the crowd this evening. Look off then. Kobelnikov. Oh, that was all too simple. All too simple for France there. Kliuka continuing to rack up the points. Number 15 for him. It's been a good evening for the Russian number 15. Two points the advantage again. Nicely done. Oh, it's now encroaching over the line, was it, from a deep position? It was uh, Rossard involved. And Russia now just five points away. Oh, 
Russia starting to believe that they're back in this match. Timeout called by France this time. Keep the movement going. Simple message. Can they retrieve this third set? Receive. That's nicely done. Shininez. A badly needed point there because Russia had started to move away, started to pull away. It's a super spike from the 21 year old. Look at the height, and there was absolutely no way that was coming back. So, Rafael Kor is on court for the first time from Cannes. And again, difficult to come into the thick of battle, into the heat of battle, and make your mark straight away. It takes a few minutes, a couple of serves to get your timing in your iron, and in his case, there really wasn't much time to play yourself in. Russia now just three points away from taking this third set. Rabenikov does well. That's nice. Really nicely done. Terrific placement, Filipov. They believe now they're almost there and back in this match, two points away from taking this third set. And France will be kicking themselves because they were well placed earlier on. But all credit to Russia. They've just got to see this job through now. And Filipov. Krabenikov. Landed on the line, Rossa just couldn't help it but just watch it plop down onto the line at his feet. So frustrating. And Russia now here have five set points to make it 2 1. Here's the set, Rossa. Not good enough. That's better. That's much better. On the opposite flank. Also, Russia putting in a challenge, are they? Suggest they might. Sanchez. Confirms the point, goes the way of France. Still set points. This is a key serve here from Aguigny. It was a uh, big part of the success last year, but he can't do it. And Russia are on their way back here. The defending champions are up and running and have taken this third set. Much, much improved from last year's winners. And they halve the deficit. France leading now by two sets to one. Russia have taken this third set by 25 points to 20.
Russia much more impressive in that uh, third set. And uh, most of the joy coming down that left-hand side. Over half of their points and the likes of Kliuka and uh, Politeev finding good contact, causing the uh, French team all sorts of problems. Very little going down the middle, as you would expect. This is the opening weekend of the men's VNL 2019. All roads lead to Chicago. The finals being held in the USA for the first time in July. 16 teams competing, 12 core teams. These two are two of those core teams and four challenger teams. And, uh, the top six at the end of all the pool matches will qualify for the finals weekend in Chicago. Here though, in a repeat of last year's final, it's France leading by two sets to one, but Russia on the comeback trail. Deep serve there from Antoine Brizard, good improvisation from the French team, finished off by Tilly, but uh, Russia just starting to ominously look as though they're clicking through the gears here. And there's no doubt that Filipov, who was not in the starting six, has made a difference here. He's starting to make his presence felt. well dealt with. Well, Russia have started brightly here. My word, they took their time, didn't they? France need to get a foothold here. If Russia were to get this uh, fourth set, they would have to be favourites for the fifth. Run the changes. No one's gone long from the number 17, Cleveno. Oh, I was coming in from deep, but it's well dealt with by the Russian team, and now it's France on the defensive. And on we go, excellent rally. Good court positioning from both sides. Tilly. Still the ball comes back. Tilly again has another go. Good defence from Russia. Starting to build all the time and it goes long. With no touch. Russia back to differ. And they're challenging this. Oh, wait to see the replay. It's an no, excellent no, no, rally. No, no touch. Mario Sanchez deems there to be no touch. France have a badly needed second point. They really need to just gel. They've had a, quite a few changes of personnel. They've perhaps taken a little time to settle into the rhythm of the game. There is Le Goff. Oh, it's gone. 
well wide and France have built up a little head of steam here done Volkov went for position rather than power just plopping that ball into the open space enjoyed that Desperate defending. Being prepared to put your body on the line for the cause. It was all from this first misdirected dig from uh, Tilly that put his teammates under pressure. out on the fall and France can breathe a sigh of relief there well the pattern of the first match was very much uh, is being mirrored by this one here in that uh, Japan went 2 nil up against Serbia Serbia came back to get the third set but Japan regrouped and took the fourth to win 3-1 can France do the same here in this second match it's much better. Shininier is getting a nice little sighter there. And France are now back on your level terms in this fourth set. Excellent dipping serve. And Russia. Once again, sense the danger. Neither side really can eke out a, a significant gap here, a significant advantage. Politeev. Tilly is thwarted. Has another go. And this time he gets the result, gets the touch. Tilly has been very impressive offensively as well as defensively this evening. There's Tilly again with a nice deep long serve. The dummy comes in and the block secured there. Brizard enjoying himself along with Patry. And now France ahead in this fourth set for the first time. Oh, blocking, absolutely outstanding. Chininez, and it's France in front of the technical timeout in this fourth set. And they've turned a three or four point deficit into a two point advantage here. Outstanding from Chininez, excellent blocking. And it's advantage France again, but for how long? Le 6 reste centré en défense. OK Allez, comme ça. Allez, guys, allez, allez. Oh, non, Tilly, identifying number 6, Karpukov. Asking them to target him in defense. Says he's a rather, little bit static. France leading them by two points in this fourth set. Kevin Tilly with the serve. 
Russia again under pressure, just working their way slowly back into this rally. That's excellent blocking. Rather got away with that. Volkov getting them out of jail there. That's a point that France were favourites to win. Let's look at this again. That is a monster block. Got his hands in the right position there. Nice touch. Ravenikov again can't pick up the crumbs. Trying to do some sweeping up there. And this time it's Russia who try and snuff out the danger. All square then in set four. Dmitry Volkov was captain last year. Kravenikov throwing himself in defence of that. Uh, that's terrific, really good. The right arm of Patry once again doing the damage. He's really been a terrific force in this match. Moves to 12 points, leading the way for France. Chenignes. Well, one to me, one to you. Is the pattern of this fourth set. This is going to be intriguing as this fourth set unfolds. Which of these two teams has the mental strength? to see this one through. Not a huge amount on the line in the context of a very long tournament. Three, of course, three important points. But pride certainly at stake. Patrick again, almost a symbiotic understanding there between the setup and Patrick exactly what they were doing, exactly where his man was. So, Brizard. Fine margins indeed. Unlucky from uh, Valentin Golibev. So advantage France then. It's not by much. Clever note with his distinctive serve preparation. Drawing in the uh, libero. Winning spike there from uh, Volkov. France just can't get away. And they've done well to get themselves back in this full set. Liuka. That's long. It was dipping quickly, but it dipped just a little bit too late. That was a good effort. Really good aggressive serve from Kliuka. So Goff, what's he going to go for? Goes with the running serve. Well dealt with. Off the net, the block comes in again. Tilly. Tilly again. 
And Serbia come away, Serbia, I should say, Russia come away with the point. Once again, those exchanges. So, so difficult. Yeah, touched the net on the way through, did Patry. Once again, finds his mark, moves to 14. He's almost leading this charge single-handedly for the French team is Patry. Nicely set up by uh, Rizard. Excellent serve, but a short back lift. And another point added to the tally of Korkeyev. Straight down the throat of uh, Volkov. Volkov finds his mark again, and he's on fire now. Dmitry Volkov. It's Russia who just edge ahead. So this pendulum swinging one way, then the other. France call a timeout. They're so evenly matched, these two sides. Les soutiens, allez au bloc, etc. Après défense, quand on est en dehors des trois mètres, je veux que la balle elle soit plus haute. Wants the ball higher. Wants the ball is out side of the three meter line. He wants the ball higher. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Oh, it's a simple message. Rather more difficult to put into practice when you're facing a side as talented as the Russian. 20 world level titles the Russian team either as Russia or former Soviet Union second only to Brazil's 22 on the all-time list Desperate defending there from Grabenikov, not for the first time. And the ball out of court. And Russia just starting to suggest that they're the more likely to squeeze out this fourth set. France needs something special here. They're playing catch up again. Volkov at great speed. Grabenikov with great defense. Uh, that's super. That's really nice from uh, Cleveno. Eight points to him now. So a nice distribution of point scoring from the French team. Three Russians in double figures as well. There's the set. Chance for France to rebuild here. There it is, Cleveno celebrating each point. And it's France who hit the second technical timeout with their noses in front here, leading by a single point. And just nine points from victory here against the defending champions. <laughs> Отсюда линия закрыта. Все эти минус такие линии закрыта. Okay. Высокий, шестая зона. 9 метр готов бегать. Давай, спокойно съем.
It's a slender advantage, but it's advantage France here in this fourth set, leading by two sets to one. It's been so, so close. Chininez with the serve on the resumption. Russia making their way back in. Have they found the mark? Yes, they have. France hesitate, not sure if there was a, a block touch there, but Russia celebrating the point. And once again, France, having got a point up, fail to turn it into two. They just can't get away from this Russian team in this fourth set. Russian substitution, Kobza, the captain, returns to the fray. Replacing uh, Kokeyev. And that's a reprieve for France. Good body language, good commitment and belief in the Russian camp. Two old foes going head to head here. Goes for the return. Nice defending there from Brizard off the deck. Le Goff. Blockers lining up. Pulled out. And was there a touch of the net there? Kliuka seemed to be caught in two minds there. Oh, he hit the antenna. That was the reason for the point going the way of the French. Russia call a timeout with France now with the two-point advantage in this fourth set. France then serving. What have they got from here? Here is the captain, Antoine Brizard, looking to extend that advantage. Russia, though, building nicely. Grabenikov not able to direct the dig out. So 1916, France edging, inching their way to victory here. Thank you. Oh, frustration for the French captain. That would have been an ideal opportunity to have really laid down a marker. Has to forget it and move on. Kovalev. It's been serving well. Tilly. Ah, oh, it's emphatic. Unstoppable from Le Goff. And now France reached that all-important 20-point mark. Pressure starting to mount on the Russians. The defending champions, remember, from the VNL in 2018. That wonderful night in Lille last July. Cleveno. Great dipping serve, well dug out by Golibev. Nice work by Grobenikov. Oh, and that's delicious from Patry. He's not all about power, that was great placement. And the captain approves, that was key as well, wasn't it? Once again from Grobenikov, the athleticism there. Timeout called by Russia. Just four points from defeat here. One last ditch attempt to turn this fourth set round. Okay, 
matches for Russia against Serbia and Japan to come. But this, the pick of their pool four matches, no doubt about that. An extra edge to this match after the uh, final of last year. Cleveno then charged with taking France a step closer to victory here. Oh, that's a good serve. That's an excellent serve. Just when he needed to find a big one, he does. And now the gap is five points. So difficult to get control, even uh, Golubev. Three points to target. Plenty of roll from the base of the hand, bringing the ball down. But Serbia, sorry, Serbia, Russia. Stopped the rot there, they needed that point really badly. So four points now. Kevin Tilly allows himself a wry little smile. And here's the standout player of this Russian team, Klubuka. With 19 to his name. He needs something pretty quick here. Tilly. Too hot for him to handle, but again, look at the commitment of Grabenikov. He was scampering after it. Halfway up the stands. Well, this would be some comeback from here. 18-22 down. Now 19-22. Kliuka has hit 20 points himself. That's almost a set's worth. France, though, are almost there. They can smell victory, and it would be an important one here. Russia may have something to say. They have, they found that. So Russia too hit the 20 point mark. Have they left it too late? Have France got enough of a cushion here? Here is Filipov. Tilly, yes. No, doesn't find his mark. Well, that was a golden opportunity there for Kevin Tilly. Got the angle, I thought, reasonably well, but it went wide. And Russia now. Oh, can they salvage this full set? Big serve, Tilly, and again, good reactions from France, get the ball back into play, but Russia can go again and build from here, yeah, too much, it was coming, wasn't it, and it came. Politeev. Timeout from France, Laurent Tilly wants to get important messages through to his team, they're in danger here of letting this slip. Just two points from victory. And Russia are on a charge here. He's impressively calm, isn't he? Under real pressure, the heat of battle. Very calm, simple messages. He trusts his players. What can Russia find from here? Filipov is uh, on a good run here, and he needs to find a big serve to keep that pressure on and draw level. Taking the pace off the ball sensibly. Tilly can't find his mark here. Russia 
Grabenikov with the great defence. Patry, yes, finds the mark. Well, they're almost there. Match point to France. This for revenge after losing the final of the VNL last year to the very same opponents they're facing today. Jean Patry dug out beautifully off the deck. That's excellent work from Volkov. He's really come to his own in this fourth set. It's so tight. This is going to go down to the wire. So an important serve here from Politaev at match point again to France. It's long, and France can celebrate. It's all over. And France have avenged that defeat, that painful defeat from last year in Lille. And they have won this opening pool match against Russia. Subject, of course, to a challenge from Russia. We have to just hold our horses for a moment while we wait for confirmation of the result of this challenge coming in from Russia. Block touch, we assume. Well, the ball was out on the full. And France can now celebrate. So, France avenged that defeat from last year. And it's all smiles. They've made a winning start here to the VNL in 2019. And they've taken that full set by 25 points to 23. And just as Japan did in the opening match, they've come through against the Russians by three sets to one. So they have three points with which to open their account. They're up and running here with two more matches to come against both the, Serb the hosts Serbia and Japan. Well, here are the stats, all important numbers. Pretty even, wasn't it, in terms of overall attacks? Russia actually out-blocking France. But uh, when it came to the errors, well, France forcing more errors from their opponents than did Russia. Spike contact points look like this. Again, favouring that left-hand side. And uh, with the likes of Patry with 16 points and Cleveno as well doing the damage. So huge relief for France, for Laurent Tilly and his team. We've got more matches for you, of course, on day two here from Novi Sad. But we're up and running here. Victory for Japan earlier on. And now for France. It's goodbye from me, Chris Dennis. Thanks for being part of the game.